Pirate Warrior is back. It's officially back. I couldn't be more happy about it because I was not around during the old school back in the day Pirate Warrior, but I've heard the tall tales of many a veteran Hearthstone player, not JJ, he didn't like it back then, but a lot of people did, and a lot of people have told great things about it, and uh, we're, we're bringing it back. Not the first ones to do it, but uh, what we are doing, however, is we're testing it out without what everyone thinks is the key card, Anchor. Why are we doing that, JJ? Because we don't craft cards in the first week of the expansion. I actually wanted you to say because we're trying to make this deck a valid option for budget players who are afraid to even attempt it without Anchor. But yes, both of those are true. We don't have Anchor at the moment. But yeah, Leroy All of our budget skin, cards. That's yeah. Those th those have to to go in. So we uh, replaced the anchor um, with uh, some more minions. We got uh, we got the full pirate package pretty much in there. An upgrade is a pretty important card anyway, because sometimes you might play it on one. But that being said, let's not spit too much rhetoric. We haven't even played this at all so far. It is experimental. So we this is the list that we go into the first game with and see what we can do. Let's get it. Shaman time. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Galakrond Shaman currently is the best deck in the meta. And uh, it beats every other deck right now, statistically. Which is problematic in a game like Hearthstone. I feel like the biggest surprise is just the choice of hero. Do we not keep Corsair? Actually, we could keep all of those in theory. Because we have Corsair on three. Yeah, let's... Uh... I, think, I think we'll just go over that. Choice of hero, yeah, Thunder. You don't see uh, Thunder King too much, that's true. It's pretty good. By the way, Sharkfin fan, that that sneaky pirate from Rastakhan's Rumble. Do we coin him? I think we play. Uh, no, I think we play upgrade. Upgrade pass. I think so. Because hitting doesn't make that much sense without all the synergies. Like we have Sharkfin, we want to keep the weapon alive for the Corsair. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna hit and play Sharkfin this turn. There's something to pick off even. That's that's good. Well, we play Sharkfin and then hit obviously. Question is, we could have we could have maybe caught the deckhand there. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. Questionable. Do we maybe coin the deckhand and the captain next turn, and the turn after on four play war axe and the taunt guy? Uh, that seems, seems that's like reasonable. Yeah. Right? Let's do that. Ooh boy! <laughs> don't mind Bring him. Him. Let's do it, man. Pirates are back. You know how pirates operate, right? They assault you, like, they, and they're quick, too. They're like, bam. Like, you're not seeing anything coming, and all of a sudden, bam, pirate. 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 Easy money. That's how, pir that's how pirates live, though. <laughs> that's, that's how pirates have been living. Ah, pirates. Pirates, man. This feels like a like a token druid yeah. turn five board yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, and here's, and here's consequential <laughs> proof why pirates are cooler than ninjas, or any other of those tribes. T trades, I guess. Now, how, oh, do you want to? You want to play Ninja Ninja Warrior, JJ? I mean, <laughs> which is a show, by the way. But I yes. was talking about the, the, the deck. <laughs> I actually, uh, actually find it quite interesting that show, but that's mm, a whole different yeah. thing. Ooh, that evolves. Terrible. All right. Well. Yeah. Axe first, mm -hmm. then attack. I mean, ultimately, we should have hit with with, with the upgraded. Uh, Boy on one, but we didn't. Yeah, but right, you right. know, hindsight, twenty twenty, oh, that whole stuff. thing. Uh, Hit one into the flash shaper, the two. Yeah, that's one. what I was thinking, yeah. and then the rest in face. Yeah, because we don't want none, uh, none, up, none evolving stuff going on. We're kind of running low, so because of we don't have anchor, we're going to be running low on refueling a lot. That's that's what we know. And it was kind of unfortunate well, that he had both flash shapers there, because if he didn't, we probably would have won it by turn like five. Yeah, but that's now we're, we're just playing the tempo game. We're just trying to yeah. apply pressure while hopefully keeping the board on our side. Um, we'll hit and hit and then play the four. That's what drop. I was thinking. It's, hopefully get Axe back. It's exactly what I was thinking. Although, if we don't get Axe back, that's going to be a little unfortunate, yeah, we but we got it. And it's golden! Now. Yes, because the horror is golden. Oh, that reminds me. I don't have golden fiery war axes. I don't play warrior that much. Oh, pretty sure I do. Yeah, I um, I I did have an aggro warrior before, which I did. Here's by the way. Here's by the way why why this deck is so ridiculously overpowered. Right, the two ones with rush that just show up. That's insane. 
And that's why that's what makes the shaman so untouchable right now. Well, this is unfortunate. I mean, S- somewhat of a surprise that we were gonna run into this, huh? There's gonna be more of this, by the way. Like, you don't see a lot of this until it gets there. Yeah. And it will, by the way. Like, it might we might see record nerves actually? I'm not sure how many weeks is gonna go on. Uh, do you think we're gonna see them turn into one ones, the rushers? Uh, yeah, I would suspect so, or lose rush entirely. But then it's that's kind of unfortunate. I, it, one ones seem sensible, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, I think we have to take it, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, we have to resign this game also. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Not maybe. We don't have draw. Yeah. No anchors. The they're not having anchors. It was yeah. It was it was it came down to flesh shape. If he had both, if he doesn't have flesh shapers, we probably win. And if he had both, we lose. We lose instantly because they're free. Yeah, I think we're just gonna concede this yeah. and go into the next. Let's game. do another one. Not a shot. We got a hunter. Interesting. That doesn't happen much these days. All right. Uh, we should definitely keep uh, parachute. That's a fantastic. One. Yeah. Could even keep raider. I think we will keep raider because if we don't get a one drop, we'll we coin the raider. Yeah. Ooh boy. Okay. I think if we don't draw an actual one drop, we probably will upgrade. We could coin the raider still. Because, but then the raider would have extra attack if we coin, yeah. if we don't coin it and we keep the coin. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, I might not even coin. I might <laughs> even play the raider next turn. I might play the uh, shark, shark fin, but mm-hmm. I will hit. We've learned yeah, our lesson. Yeah, we have learned a lesson because uh, war axes show up quickly, as do hoarders, so we'll get weapons back. Optimally, you want to have a weapon equipped at pretty much any point in the game with this deck, but you also want to be using it the whole time. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, but I think it doesn't really matter if you play the... Uh, I think it's the Raider. Raider I think, yeah. Just because of the trades. Hit face again. We're going to hit face, and we're going to lose the 2-2. Yeah, but then we do we take his off with the with the weapon, and yep. it's full circle. Play circle Finn of and, life. Fan and maybe Raider next turn. Uh, yeah. Unless we draw something that changes yeah. that, of course. Um, or he does something that changes that, there's always a lot of stuff that could go no, on. No, we have a decent trade. We'll definitely take that. Play both minions first, and Reaper is in the house. It's a little unfortunate that we can't coin the Reaper, but, you know. Man, don't 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 fear the Reaper is what they say, but... <laughs> But boy, El Tog, you but you, you, you man, you, you, you don't know, man. You don't. All right, don't clear the board on us this time, please. It would be greatly appreciated. Just let us get. I mean, the primary board we would have would be Unleashed, mm-hmm. which is not horrible. Let's get some damage, maybe. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense with the with the archetype. Um, I mean, we are gonna lose everything but the one three three. Which means we still have something on the board. Raider. Now we just need to draw something we can play. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's a menu. I'll take it. Leroy Jenkins is not a pirate. Fun fact. Not sure if you knew that. Yes. He acts like one, but he isn't. What do you mean he acts like one? He just charges at you. He just shows up and he's like, bam. Ugh. So the X. The X is still there. One more expansion, man. One more expansion and... Every, we are back. I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna take the trade oh, yeah. and we're gonna hit the five in the oh, face, for sure. and then next time we're gonna upgrade. We upgrade and we're gonna the, hit yeah. um, another combined twelve in the face, mm-hmm. unless we get a green skin or another upgrade, in which uh, we already have the other upgrade. But you know, we're doing things. We're doing it. So Locus. Also, somewhat unsurprising. Yes, Quest Hunter, by the way, is doing pretty well uh, these days. Early on in the expansion, probably, I'm pretty sure the best Hunter deck actually. Whew. that's unfortunate, actually. Yeah, not right now. We do we, we leave the face? Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Why would? What's the worst thing that can happen? We're losing anyway, so I might as well push the damage. Well, we're not losing. Mm, yeah, we're probably losing. I mean, chances are we might, but... We now just possible. need to draw damage somewhere. Which, Greenskin would be winning, likely? Greenskin would be good now, yeah. Um, I mean, we don't really have too many chargers. We have the South Sea deck hands. They charge for and two. And if nothing else, we'll just hit and play Pillager, and ho- hopefully we'll get yeah. we'll get the Reaper back. And he's, he's making sure the Reaper a little bit, you know? Quest gonna be done soon, so if we don't, if basically if we don't do it this turn, I think we lose. 
it gets the hero power, it's gonna be over. Yeah, I think it's uh, we'll play fan. Hit. Yeah, yeah. Easy fan, hit, Face. pillager. Do not we mathematically lose even because we gave him a way to uh, to trade one minion off on the board, summon a new one, get the quest, and hit it. It gives plus two plus two, right? So that's what 12, 16. It's very close. With the hero power eighteen, I think he wins exactly mathematically, right? Because he trades one, he plays a minion that does the quest, or even Leroy. <laughs> Uh, it's just plus two attack, right? Yeah, then it doesn't matter. If it's zero, it's over anyway. No, but you said plus two, plus two. Yeah, yeah plus one. I mean, plus two, plus two. I was calculating both the zil the the snip snap, snippy snappies from last right. But yeah, with the Leroy, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, that was unfortunate, yeah. but it was close. It was closer, which shows us closer that it's possible. We might, we might be able to go all the way with it. Let's do another one, man. That looks more like it. Now we'll, we'll kick the mummy for sure, but. Do we I think we also yeah we probably yeah. is got exactly right. I think we get the villager. Right. Uh, also, I we want parachutes it's, optimally, it's, and I'm, it and goes with my whole idea of like I don't like playing a synergy card if I don't have the synergy for yeah. it, uh, unless it's like good anyway. So and pillager is not. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of like the uh, in token droid when you don't keep the buffs if you don't have anything yeah. to summon minions, so to speak. Yeah. But yeah, we'll play. We'll just play pirates here. We'll play. Nice and easy. And see, this is doable. That's that's the big thing. It's doable without anchor. I mean, hypothesis it's, it's doable is... to win. I would almost guarantee that. The question is just yeah. Is I mean, doable to win a single win with an amount of a certain amount of tri now we coin plus uh, the the it's upgrade deckhand. coin yeah. deckhand yeah. Because he gets charge, and that's good for pirates. I'm in charge now. Patches days. You weren't there when it happened, but we yes, were. I, was. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to the viewers. We really don't know if they were. The, the viewer wasn't even there when it happened, but man. <laughs> you are just assuming oh, the, the kids, the man, now. the young, the young, the youngsters. Ladies and gentlemen. My hearts on youngsters? Kids of all ages above 13. Yeah. Were, did you want to put a poll in this video? You want to put a poll in this video? Let's put a, if you About remember. what? Were you there during the oh, patches yeah. days? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yes, no. Let us know. We'll put a poll, hopefully, right here in the info card. Let us know if you were there during the patches days. I believe most people were not there during the patches days. A lot of people weren't. Those were the days, though. You gotta be honest, <laughs> man. Uh, this is a bit awkward with uh, the sky board, I think. Yeah, and then I think it's trade to protect... Oh, no, we don't need to trade to protect the barge right now. I don't think we trade this time, no. And then I guess we just... We hit it because we play Hoarder next extra. That's unfortunate. I mean, Hoard Hort Pillager to get a 1-3 back? You get a 1-3. I mean, yeah. You don't have and, Anchor. And a 4-2 minion. We don't have Anchor. What are you going to do? I mean, we still have Life Warlands, which we haven't seen at all. Yeah. We have Fiery War X and Arcanine Reaper. I mean, they're like the upgrade weapon is literally the worst possible target. But it's Better earlier. Than none, but... It comes in earlier. Not gonna get an Arcanine Reaper back from Pillager before turn seven. So there is some something to be said for getting a, a weapon back earlier. Yeah, no, I get that. It takes a good trade that we wanted him to take anyway. And now we can still do the thing. Do we now keep the durability on the weapon for the fan? No, we, no, we, 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 have, hit, we, we have, have enough yeah. weapons. But next turn we can hit, we can play fan cap and build up a pirate board again. And uh, yeah, and um, I believe that's where you summon a pirate. Yeah, right? if you summon a pirate. Yeah. yeah. So the fan makes extra like skybar triggers happen, which is why it's actually a pretty good card. Yeah. He's holding a dragon. Surprise! Who isn't? Uh, we currently aren't hit first. Um, with the with the with the yeah. barge, yeah. Flame ward. Right. Now we now we play uh, now we play fan. You play fan and captain and hit. Not corsair. Captain doesn't do anything this turn. Why not play corsair? Yeah, I guess we can play corsair. Maybe play captain and after and then. Well, I mean, the captain will protect our squabble squire thingy there from swabble swab swabby swab swabby that thing from uh, being killed by the hero. <laughs> But Corsair protects everything. 
because da. Let him use his hero power. That's the thing, right? If you want to use your hero power, it's, it's the hero power is not efficient. If you want to use it, use it. I'm going to give you a little gambit. Because, yeah, to, also, pro- to prevent stuff like that. Protected all of that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we have to. Yeah. We have to get something going. I think we do. Uh, we'll see what, what lucky we get, and depending on what, then... Oh, we could play this. I think we will. Yeah, yeah, Berserk is not bad. Yeah. We don't have the damage synergies. Whatever. Yeah, no, we don't. Um, Bait out the flame strike here, maybe. Is it, is it even <laughs> baited? That? Is it even baited if he if he plays it? Because it might it might just be sensible to play it. I mean, um, it could be pretty much anything. I mean, it could be Malagos. Who knows? We know, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I, I knew it was Highlander, but uh, didn't really think you'd it expect was... you'd expect it with. Him, well, I expected say. it to be Highlander. Um, yeah. If we just Let's get lucky, yeah, we'll keep going face. Uh, Mages don't heal, and we have to damage him. That's actually good. I mean, not that doesn't solve it, but I think um, make him use the hero power, right? Yeah. Because it's inefficient. They can do it. We still got Arcanine Reapers, we got Leroy Jenkins. We, also... we definitely have the damage to make this happen. We do, yes. We just need to, we need to find it. Yeah, and it probably won't be happening in a single turn. Mm. Oh, how about Arcane Explosion? <laughs> Arcane Explosion. I don't think so, but... It could be, I mean... You are playing a singleton deck, you're making some suboptimal occlusions. Hmm. And Maybe. It, in this situation wouldn't be bad at all. Um what about the uh, actually the other one? The um the deal around to three. Yeah, is that that's still around, right? Yeah. That would be something. Don't need it. I mean that also works. Mm, yeah, I would have probably attacked first. Would have dealt with my damage to face. <laughs> In this case, mm-hmm. and also but just it just makes the match up better because maybe it was hoping that uh, it would kill it. Uh, play both captains, right? You got it. Yeah, but then then he just takes the trades, right? Yeah, but we have to. Do we? Yeah. Why? Why not? Because then the tempo swings. The 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 answer to why not? Because is, we die in two uh, turns. Else. If if we don't, we die in two turns. If we do, we die in three. So we 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 just. Bridge over one turn, basically. I don't agree with that because we have charge parts. Um, we could have probably made something happen there. It's unfortunate that we're playing aggro in a class that has a very defensive hero power. That's why Finley was back. It was a thing back in the day. You in the pirate war, you play yeah. Finley uh, because you wanted to get the, the hero power swap. That was the only point of it. He wasn't even a pirate. No, he was a Merlock. The but, opposite of a pirate. What was that? That was a bad order. Yeah, it was just a waste maybe, of your maybe, yeah, maybe forget about the fact that that the buffer link just wants to first captain dies, but cool. Maybe yeah, I shouldn't have even taken the trade there, but I guess Hero Power would have done it anyways. His Hero Power, yeah. that is. Um, or we just do pirate things and just, like, let him die by fatigue! <laughs> You feel me? <laughs> I feel you, but not. <laughs> it's not gonna I think you probably just take Pirate Blast. It doesn't even matter. Like, uh, you have zero cards in your opponent's hand. <laughs> I mean, you're not always going to get off of Pirate Blast. You might have, you might have it on his hand. The Pocket Galaxy is also, also decent. Alright, four. I have to play it, kind of, right? We don't really have to, but if if we don't, he knows what it is. If we do, he also knows what it is. Yeah, I think we play it. So let's just play it. Might as well. The thing is, if we had Hunter Hero Power, would have won like like a couple turns yeah, ago. Yeah. If we had Mage Hero Power, would have won by now. Pirate Hunter. I mean. In theory, that's probably the second or third best class to play yeah. Pirate. Well, Beasts no, have always no. been better for Hunter. Yeah, no, I mean, 
Rogue, of Rogan. course, and, mm-hmm. and Warrior, because they, A, have class specific support. pirates, and B, they have weapons. But then there is Paladin and Hunter, who also both have weapons. And they're still the neutral pirates. Yeah. It's not great. Not good enough. To be fair, most of what's in this deck is neutral. A lot of it is, but the key card that we are missing, which is Anchor, is not. Mage doesn't have healing. Really? Not not even healing. Yeah, no, but um, that's kind of a core card in Highlander, honestly. And, yeah. I mean, at this point, we were once again lost. Yeah, the game's over. So, uh, I think that's the end of the video. And um, I, I would consider this video successful because we answered the question. Is Pirate Warrior feasibly playable without Anchor? No. No, it's not. Yeah, not really. It's, it's not. This is rank 13. Every single time we were out of stuff to do on turn 4. Pirate Warrior is not feasibly playable without Anchor. Case close, but uh, we have another experiment in mind for those of you who don't have anchor, which is going to be a different sort of aggressive warrior because you might want to play the same sort of idea, get in on the fun. But that's going to feature Galakrond, and uh, we're going to play that uh, in the future, or pr- probably in a couple of days, maybe even tomorrow, very soon, definitely, um, to to get an insight into how that works. Now it match- matches up with some of the decks that are currently around. But Pilot Warrior without anchor is a no-no. Zero out of ten would not recommend again. Never recommended it before to begin with. But, thank you for watching anyway, drop a like on the video and subscribe. We, by the way, we did not throw these games in intentionally to say that the deck is bad. We tried, but it, you clearly saw that it doesn't work. So, um, yeah, that's that. You can join our Discord server, by the way. Link to that in the description, which uh, you can then use to redirect you to the server. And uh, then sign up, and then you can say hello to us and everyone in there. We we got a great community, so hopefully we, we will see you there soon. And until then, until the next video, JJ. That's it. That's it.